the miniseries Chernobyl by HBO impressed the world. Billions of people from various countries have watched a film about a terrible man-made disaster. There were different feedbacks about the film, but it's clear that the subject of Chernobyl is discussed worldwide. Of course, watching the Chernobyl miniseries or getting to know the town of Pripyat in person, these are absolutely different impressions and different experiences. If you're one of those who have been waiting so long and wanting to go uh, on a tour to Chernobyl, to the zone, and you're interested to find out more about it, stay with me, continue watching, since now we are going to have a walk in Pripyat, the ghost town. Pripyat was founded in 1970 as a satellite city of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and in 1979 received the status of a city. The majority of residents were employees of the power plant and their family members. At the time of the disaster, about 50,000 people lived here and the average age of the inhabitants of Pripyat didn't exceed 30 years. By 1986, Pripyat was a modern Soviet city with a developed infrastructure. It was supposed to become a city of a bright future, a city of dreams, but the accident on April 26, 1986 changed the fate of not only the citizens of Pripyat, but also the further history of mankind. The evacuation started only on the second day after the accident at the nuclear power plant, People were allowed to take only their documents with them, promising they would return home in a few days. The ghost town of Pripyat is a mute witness of how the life of its citizens was suddenly divided into before and after on the night of April 26, a city that those whom it was created for will never be able to return. Empty streets, dead windows of buildings, abandoned apartments, trees on the roofs of high-story buildings – this is how the once exemplary Soviet city looks now. Half-ruined swings and abandoned alleys at the amusement park sharply emphasize the contrast between the past and the present. The opening of this park was scheduled for May 1, 1986, but it was never destined to receive its guests due to the disaster that occurred. The Ferris wheel, on which no one rode, has become one of the symbols of both Pripyat and the entire Chernobyl zone. Before the accident at the nuclear power plant, this swimming pool, which is called Lazurny, was very popular among the residents of Pripyat. Its main feature was that even after the disaster, it worked until 1992. The services of the pool were used by local workers and liquidators of the consequences of the accident, because this place was the cleanest in terms of the radioactive background. Can you imagine this was the main square of the city back in 1986? There is a Hotel Polissa. In front of it you can see the supermarket, which was quite modern at those Soviet times. 
It was a central place where people were hanging out. Now it is no longer a city of people. It is a city of nature, silence and sadness. At the end of this video, I'd like to show you one of the hotels where tourists can stay overnight in the zone. I stayed in Polisa Hotel in Chernobyl town. Frankly, it doesn't remind a hotel. Apartments in the Soviet building were built into a dormitory. So it means that you have your own room, but you share a bathroom with a few people. Basically, this dormitory is a simple, clean and a very decent one. And here you can feel a truly Soviet atmosphere. So don't expect anything fancy and just enjoy your stay in Chernobyl. <laughs>